Are we Hebrews? What is a Hebrew? And can we call ourselves Hebrews? Let's take a look. Let's start with a definition. In the Strong's Concordance, the word Hebrew is H5680, Ibri, which means one from beyond, one that has traversed, or one that has crossed over. So in a simple basic definition, a Hebrew is one who comes from the other side of the river. The first mention of the label Hebrew is with Abraham, for he left his former life and world filled with idolatry and corruption to cross over the Euphrates River and begin his walk following, trusting, and obeying Yahweh. Genesis 14.13 then one who had escaped came and told Abram, the Hebrew. Later on, the label Hebrew was not just for one who crossed a river, but for anyone associated with the Abrahamic faith. For example, Joseph was called a Hebrew, Genesis 41, verse 12. And there was there with us a young man, a Hebrew, a servant to the captain of the guard. We see what the people of Israel also, while in Egypt, were called Hebrews, Exodus 2, 7. Then said his sister to Pharaoh's daughter, Shall I go and call to thee a nurse of the Hebrew women, that she may nurse the child of thee? Thus the title Hebrew, even though it means one who crossed over, can be for anyone who identified with the Abrahamic faith. Abraham's son Isaac and his grandson Jacob and all the sons of Israel were known as Hebrews because they followed the Abrahamic faith. Anyone who has faith in Yahweh and his son Yeshua is now considered a follower of the Abrahamic faith and is seen as a son of Abraham and thus a Hebrew. Galatians 3 verse 6 through 9. Thus Abraham believed Yahweh and it was reckoned to him as righteousness. So you see that it is men of faith who are sons of Abraham. And the scripture foreseeing that Yahweh would justify the Gentiles by faith preached the gospel beforehand to Abraham, saying, In you shall all the nations be blessed. So then, those who are men of faith are blessed with Abraham, who had faith. So, when we call ourselves Hebrews, it's seen as one who has left their past life of sin to cross over into the faith, leaving the old life behind and having a renewed life, trusting and obeying Yahweh and his son Yeshua. Ephesians 4, verse 22 to 24. Put off your old nature, which belongs to your former manner of life, and is corrupt through deceitful lusts, and be renewed in the spirit of your minds, and put on the new nature, created after the likeness of Yahweh, in true righteousness and holiness. So, are we Hebrews today? My answer is yes. For by faith, all are children of Abraham, all are Hebrews. There are no two bodies of believers, there aren't two bodies of Messiah, by faith we are all children of Abraham, by faith we are woven into Israel, and by faith we are one body in Messiah. Thus we are all seen as Hebrews. Hallelujah. 1 Corinthians 12, verse 12 to 13. For just as the body is one, and has many members, and all the members of the body, though many are one body, so it is with Messiah. For in one spirit we are all baptized into one body, Jews or Greeks, slaves or free and all were made to drink of one spirit. Just as a small side note, we all accept the book of Hebrews in the New Testament. It's a book written to all believers today. So we see that in the first century, those who accepted Yeshua and followed the faith were called Hebrews. So, do you identify as a Hebrew? Why or why not? Also, please subscribe and share this video if you're enjoying the content. Thank you. And Shalom.